Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this Tuesday mountain weather update. A Merry Christmas Eve to everybody. Thank you for tuning in here. And I'll tell you what, here are my bullet points. I'm still watching this big period, 1226 to 1230, with major snow accumulation for the Pacific Northwest, BC, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, Colorado. We're going to get like two or three storm systems with a rich feed of moisture that will come right after each other and just nail a lot of those areas. It's going to be a colder period with a rain snow line that will be dropping as colder air filters in. Um, looking at the northeast, now it looks like you're going to have a rain problem, 1229 through 1230. And it looks like a pretty sizable storm, but it's going to be just a little bit too warm. That's going to cut down on snow accumulation. Okay, let me take you to radar this morning out of the Pacific Northwest, the west here. And um, there's a lot of precip with this. You've got rain and snow through California, Oregon, Washington, some of that running up into parts of uh, British Columbia as well. Let me take you to the northeast. Leftover light snow accumulation here, light to moderate um, this morning as this uh, this storm system kind of rolls away from the northeast this morning. Okay, let me give you the lay of the land. So this is water vapor satellite imagery um, in the low level. So you really see the contrast here between the dry air and the moisture. Dry air is in the oranges and the reds, your moisture. And here's our storm system I showed you on radar, pushing all that uh, warm air and all that precip up through California, Oregon, Washington, and BC. Now look at this, uh, this monster behind it. Big storm system, nice dip in the jet stream. And I'll show you the jet forecast in a second, but this is gonna be the leading edge. Once this sucker moves in, that's really gonna establish an anchor of very nice flow. Um, for a lot of, uh, say, Northern California, the Pacific Northwest, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, the Wasatch, the Central to Northern Mountains of Colorado, all those places are really going to benefit with feet of accumulation during 1226 through about 1230. Okay, let me just uh, show you my snow timeline. Best odds of snow for the Wasatch, Tetons, Colorado, Tahoe, Interior, BC, and the Northeast. So, for example, in the Wasatch, uh, I'm forecasting moderate to heavy snow. So you're gonna, it looks like you're gonna have powder on Christmas day between tonight and tomorrow. Moderate to maybe a couple pockets of heavy, but I'll show you that coming up. And then a really heavy period, 1226 through 1229 with feet of accumulation. It's not gonna snow continuously, but there'll be some small breaks, but it's gonna be heavy accumulation. In Colorado, light on Christmas day, light on 1226, moderate 1227, and potentially moderate afternoon 1229 and 1230. And, and that's kind of an average for Colorado. If you're in the central and northern mountains, you're going to get some pretty heavy snow accumulation as a grand total out of this with significantly less in southern Colorado. Um, interior BC, many chances of snow. And when you add up all of these snow chances, I'm looking at potentially... 10 to 20 inches of grand total accumulation through the interior. We'll look at that coming up. Um, let's talk more extensively about uh, Utah. So here's the forecast mediagram for Alta, Utah. And this is at about 9,000 feet. A couple of things to note, and I talked about this yesterday. Here comes this snow. This is late 24 to 25 through Christmas morning. Right here, you can see there's the 24th, there's the 25th, there's 26th, there's 27th. I still think this model is light. It has come up just a little bit. I think we could be looking at easily six inches of accumulation between tonight and tomorrow um, for a lot of little and big cottonwood canyons. So that could be one of those um, sleeper powder days tomorrow, Christmas Day. Then the big stuff comes in, 26, 27, 28, 29. Um, this, is, this is almost a three feet by that point. And, and I think we're going to see a pretty solid three feet through a lot of little and big cottonwood canyons. You can see the temperatures today. Maxing out about 35 at 9,000 feet, 20s tomorrow. And then by the time we get into uh, Thursday the 26th, looking at temperatures in the 20s. Okay, so again, that's uh, that's out to Utah. Let's go into Colorado here. So this is a Vail ski area. And the forecast for Vail, um, looking at a little bit of snow again between, I don't know, midday and afternoon on Christmas Day. You could pick up a couple of inches of accumulation. And then that second storm system comes in, um, afternoon 26, 27, and then there will be some snow beyond that. And you can see how the numbers start to tick up there. 
four, five, six inches of accumulation at that point. So there's going to be snow in Colorado, and there's snow beyond this forecast. Most of the snow, as you're going to see in my forecast, is in the central and northern mountains of Colorado. Let me take it to the uh, the time height forecast, and I won't spend a lot of time on this. But again, I'm just looking for moisture in the atmosphere here. The green is the key on this. This is a slice through all the vertical layers. Um, and there's a little bit of moisture kind of hanging on um, today. And then it dries out this this afternoon. Another shot of moisture right there, midday afternoon on 25. And then the, the bigger chunk of moisture comes in 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30 with the heavier accumulations right there. And the timeline, you read that from right to left at the bottom. Um, so let's just look at the jet stream forecast. Okay, so I'm going to start this at uh, early this morning, early on Christmas Eve. So a couple of things to note here as I move this forward. Here's midday today. Here comes the next storm system. You can see the big trough. So late today, this is early on Christmas morning. You can see the dip in the jet. That's our next storm system coming out of California and the Pacific Northwest hitting Utah, Idaho, um, Wyoming, Montana, in Colorado. Um, and then that moves through. Here's midday on the 25th. Here's Christmas night at about 10 p.m. Storm system moving through Colorado and New Mexico. And then here's early on the 26th. All right, now you can really start to see the pattern change with the jet opening up. Look at that big, the brighter colors represent the higher wind speeds. That's the jet, the storm track. So here's late on the 26th. You could see the jet streak coming in, bringing all that moisture from Northern California, Oregon, Washington, Idaho. That's really going to be escorting all that moisture in in the next, next storm system. Okay, here is early Friday the 27th. Look at that jet stream setting up beautifully. Uh, all right, here is midday on Friday the 27th. We're definitely into the flow at that point. Okay, let me show you my numbers. So this is all of today through the first, through the first day of 2025. We'll start in the Wasatch. I've got three feet on the board for Alta, Snowbird, Brighton Solitude, a couple of feet, Park City, Deer Valley, uh, up through parts of Snow Basin. Tetons, another one of my bullseyes, three feet of accumulation up there, two to three feet uh, across the Tetons. Look at Montana, 10 to 20 inches, widespread through, through Bridger Bowl and Big Sky, Discovery, Whitefish. Snowball, everybody's included. Now in Colorado, like I was saying, highlighting the central and northern mountains with approximately one to two feet of accumulation through snow mass, aspen, buttermilk, highlands, vale, summit county, continental divide up through Loveland and Winter Park, um, A Basin, Keystone, Brack. Everybody's included. Less snow as you go south towards the San Juans, and I really don't have much of anything for the San Grays or even northern New Mexico. California between Mammoth and Tahoe, approximately 10 to 20 inches. Uh, looking at three or four feet across Shasta, and look at the Pacific Northwest, just gonna get blasted by this flow with four, five, six feet of accumulation, believe it or not. Interior BC, 10 to 20, um, less as you drop down into Banff Sunshine, and look at Idaho, right in line with that flow. Another one of my bullseyes, we're two, two and a half feet. Not out of the question. This is going to be a really good period. In the Northeast, again, the problem with that rain snow on 10, on 1229, 1230 is going to cut down on snow totals, but still looking at potentially three to six inches through a lot of the resorts, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. All right, guys, we're going to end on the map here for the West. Again, a big period, 1226 through about 1230. We're going to add feet of accumulation. Guys, have a great Christmas Eve. Appreciate you tuning in here. Take care.